Hi, Erica. Um, so yeah, this is a this is a good simplification question for testing what you know about exponents. Uh, so here we're just going to keep simplifying this expression down into something more manageable. So we have x. We'll get rid of this chunk of parentheses uh, times x plus five to the negative one half minus square root of x plus five. And just to you know get used to that exponent form, that's x plus five to the one half, right? x square root of x is equal to x to the one half. Um, and so we're going to keep simplifying this down now. So this is equal to x divided by x plus 5 to the positive 1 half, right? And so all that is there is just by definition, right? So x to the negative 1 over n is equal to 1 over x to the 1 over n, but positive that time. Um, yeah, so this gets massaged down to there, like my old calc teacher would say. And then this is going to still be x plus 5 to the 1 half. But now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the right side by 1, but in a special way. We're going to basically get common denominators. So this is going to be multiplied by um, x plus 5 to the 1 half and divided by x plus 5 to the 1 half. All right, that's 1. So we haven't really changed this at all. And this is going to be equal. Um, well, here, we'll do that down here. This is going to be equal to x over, we'll turn all these one halves into roots now, root x plus 5, didn't give myself much room there, minus, now this is going to be x plus 5 to the 1 half times x plus 5 to the 1 half. Well, that's equal to x plus 5 to the... 1 half plus 1 half. All right, so this is basically just going to be square root of that times square root of that divided by its own square root. Um, so this is going to just be x plus 5 divided by, and then we have one more root of x plus 5 in the bottom. And so cleaning this up, we get that this expression simplifies into, well, x minus x is 0. Um, and then this is really like x plus 0, right? So we're just left with a negative 5 on the top divided by the square root of x plus 5. Or it could also be negative 5 times x plus 5 to the negative one half. There you go. Oops. Ah, much better. There you go.